This is the sport of gymnastics, and these are its championships. We welcome you to the 1991 World Gymnastics Championships here in Indianapolis, Indiana. There's a lot of strategy involved in determining lineup. It's very similar to baseball in their batting lineup. That first gymnast up is certainly counted on to get on base or come up with a very solid score and set the pace for the entire event. And of course, for the Soviet Union, they've got five home run hitters. This is unbelievable. Any one of their gymnasts could be the, the final gymnast up on any of these teams. Look at that, a double twisting Yurchenko for the first ball. That is incredible. Natalia Kalinina. What's amazing about this young lady, she's the Goodwill Games all around champion, and here she's almost sacrificed going up as the first performer. This is one of the most difficult vaults being done in women's gymnastics. You can see her push off the horse. She has to generate enough speed and power to crank two twists before she lands. Now, as you said, Bart, the first gymnast up is almost sacrificed. They tend to score a little bit lower, even if the routines are the equivalent of some of the final performances, because the judges wait for those bigger scores to come in later in the lineup. Well, she sure didn't leave much room to get better. 9-9 nine, nine on her first ball. This is exactly why the Soviets are the best in the world. They start with nine nines and they finish with almost tens. Another incredible ball. They will take the best of the two, of course. Which I'm sure will be her first ball. This wasn't quite as good. But almost. Look at that, just a slight hop on the landing. So it might cost her a little bit. Another look. Again, this is the Yurchenko ball that's a round-off entry. has become very popular in women's gymnastics. So we'll see if Kalinina can improve on that 9-0 and does, or 9-9 rather, and does not, 9-8-7-5. Very good for the first two United States performers. Rosa Galieva, Soviet Union in the ball. Oh, <laughs> that is a super ball. Very difficult, particularly for a gymnast of that size. She's quite tiny, and this vault requires so much speed into the horse. Perfect timing on the push in order to pull off that front pike with a half twist. Watch right here, the push. And a good landing, a little bit close to the horse. That will be the only deduction. Well, Kalinina, a 9-9 as the first vaulter, and now Galieva waiting for her score. And her score, 9 8 8 7. Not bad. Tatiana Lysenko. Double twist to that. And just as the United States getting a good first rotation, so too is the Soviet Union on vault now. Lysenko. And they're, they're double twisting your uh -oh. up. There are only a handful of gymnasts that can perform that ball, and most of them are on the Soviet team. 9837, the score for Betty Okino on the uneven bars, really indicating a good routine considering perhaps the lack of difficulty. This Soviet team is so far superior to any of the other teams in this competition. And you can really see it here, right on the first rotation. Their level of difficulty is outstanding. That was Tatiana Lysenko. She is from Kirshen in the Ukraine. And again, you have to pose the question as you see her score, 9975. <laughs> And the Soviet Union already starting to hide from this field in the team competition, even in the midst of the first rotation. Tatiana Gutsu. She performs the double twisting your chinko as well. <laughs> this has become the Soviet compulsory vault, and they do it so well. The best part about her ball is the distance that she gets on the afterflight. Well, they started with a 9-9. They haven't dropped off a bit. 
Gutz, who's the European Cup champion. As you mentioned, Kathy, although she has a little form break in the early part of that vault, she really travels a great distance from the horse. And that's tough for a young lady who's only four feet five inches tall. That is her first vault. There is her score, 9887. She, of course, will have another and an opportunity to better that score. Bart, as you mentioned, she doesn't quite have the same polish as some of her teammates. Watch closely to see if she can keep her legs together and her toes pointed throughout the entire ball. Better landing on the ball. She's a little off center on the landing, however, and the legs still came apart. Why does she make contact with the horse? How many times we heard this story, though? She said when she was six years old, she was selected out of a kindergarten class to train in gymnastics. So many of the Soviets and the Romanians got their start from the same way. For better or worse, second ball, 9925 for Tatiana Gutsu. So she does improve from the first ball. And that she likes. Excellent. And here is the Greta Garbo of women's gymnastics. Bronze medalist on this event at the 88 Olympic Games. And boy, you can see why. She has impeccable form. And you will not see that expression change throughout this competition at any time. She truly is a joy to watch. Look at the leg form, the toes pointed throughout the entire vault. And her trademark landing, one foot slightly in front of the other. 9-9-5-0 for Svetlana Bogunskaya. And that's almost the norm for her. And she'll have a try at improving that. And though her vault is not as difficult as some of her Soviet teammates, because of that beautiful form, she allows no room for deductions. The Soviets at this point are averaging about 9.9 .9 for their vaulters. Two identical vaults, both nearly perfect. Broken sky.